Lance Meadow, Paul DeTito with you here on Giants.com. It is time for Mock Draft Tracker 2.0, presented by Crestron, a proud partner of the New York Giants. As we're going to break down three more prospects being projected to go to the Giants at the number six overall pick. And Paul, let's start with Nick Baumgartner of The Athletic and Trevor Sikama of Pro Football Focus going with Notre Dame offensive tackle Joe Alt. He is quite the presence, 6'8", 322 pounds. Only gave up four career sacks during his time with the Fighting Irish. Athletic, has great balance. Uh, He's got strength. You already mentioned his frame and his length. There's really not too much to pick apart here. He's got great get-off at the snap, too. But his drive blocking, remember, because he's so tall at 6'8", he doesn't always get down and compress himself very well and get drive blocks in the run game. So he's going to have to work on that a bit. But that's really nitpicking because I think most people believe he's the best offensive lineman in the draft. Three seasons with the Fighting Irish exclusively at left tackle. Did play a little Correct. tight end, though, as a freshman. And the other thing I was going to add is pretty good genes considering his yes. father, John, played 13 seasons in the NFL as an offensive lineman for the Chiefs from 1984 to 1996. Ryan Wilson of CBS Sports, Connor Rogers of NBC Sports, Sports choosing LSU quarterback Jaden Daniels, 6'4, 210, and he is a dual threat quarterback. Paul, he ran for over 1,100 yards and did plenty of damage through the air en route to winning the Heisman Trophy. Uh, ran the ball an average of 10 times a game, uh, tremendously accurate when he's throwing on the move. He loves to play the quick game, and as you said, the most athletic runner. Very, very elusive, very fast, very quick. If you love the dual threat quarterback, all right, that's the guy for you. But what you got to worry about is that he's rather slight in frame and so durability when he gets to the National Football League could wind up being a problem because the more you run the more hits you take and these big fast strong guys in the pros well they're they're going to give you a hard time no when he gets out in the open field he is an explosive Mm -hmm. playmaker and he spent his first three seasons at Arizona State before transferring to LSU in terms of his trajectory OurLads.com, our third and final prospect, UCLA defensive end, Leatu Latu, 6'5", 265. And here's another player, started at Washington, then made his way to UCLA. Very productive player, but also a little bit of an injury history with a neck issue that forced him to briefly medically retire. For two years before he came back with UCLA. But how about this? Over the last two seasons, combined for almost two dozen sacks, Lance. So the production is certainly there if the medicals check out well. Uh, He's got a great motor, very explosive, uses his hands and, and his pass rush moves extremely well and bends well, angling off the edge. But he will have to be a little quicker on the get-off, and he will have to do a little bit of a better job in shedding blocks when guys lock in on him because the real powerful offensive lineman can kind of bog him down just a bit at the line. 13 sacks this past season, most by a Pac-12 player, and he won the Ted Hendricks Award given to the nation's top defensive end. So that is Mock Draft Tracker 2.0. We are just getting started. I can't wait till we up the ante and up the numbers here moving forward. Lance Meadow, Paul DeTino with you here on Giants.com. It is presented by Crestron, a proud partner of the New York Giants, and stay locked to Giants.com for all the latest.